Yo, what's up guys? I've got a new game for you. It's gonna be Sun vs. Sand. Now, looking at his team, Tyranitar, Excadrill, Dialga, Gastrodon, Gliscor, and Arceus. Uh, I really don't know what type of Arceus that is. But since we're on a Sand team, I'm thinking that may be a Rock type Arceus. Which is gonna be a Special Offensive with Will-O-Wisp, Calm Mind, Judgment, Recover. Probably that set. Uh, if he is running Arceus Rock. There might also be Ghost to spin block, and Arch's normal will be kind of weird because he does already have the Excadrill to work as a Swords Dance Sweeper, which is also pretty fast because of the Sand Boost. Now, looking at leads, uh, I don't know what he's going to lead off with, but it really does not matter because regardless of what he picks, my Groudon will, ha will have a very good matchup against anything except that Gliscor, which I doubt he will choose as a lead. So, let's get to the match. Uh, he leads off with Dialga. I know I can take any hit barring a Life Orb, Draco Meteor, or Specs for that matter. But I didn't think he was, and he probably did not want to risk. I'm gonna go for an Earthquake. He goes into Gliscor, whatever. I cannot stay in because I'm Bandit, so I'm, need, I'm gonna need to switch into Fortress as he goes for a Toxic. I sponge that because I'm a Steel type. I'm gonna go for a Spikes, Layer Spikes, as he shows me U-Turn, so he either doesn't have Sub or doesn't have Protect. And uh, I'm gonna go for a Layer of Spikes right here. So, he's probably going to go for a Fire Blast because all the Algas run a Fire type move. I'm going to ho I'm going to go into ho to scout it, and he does pack the Fire Blast, as I stated before. Now, I'm going to go straight for a Sacred Fire because I know I can take a Draco, and I want to get a burn on anything, possibly the Tyranitar. He decides to show me his Arches, which is indeed a Rock type, so I know more or less what to expect from this thing. Uh, it's it's going to be faster than me, so I'm going to have to switch because I cannot take a Judgment Rock. He goes for a Recover. That's totally fine. I'm gonna predict the switch to Gliscor, go for a Fire Punch, see how much it does. And uh, it does a lot of damage. Oh my lord. Did you see that? Oh my fucking god. Anyway, I know he's gonna protect or sub or whatever, or Toxic. I'm gonna go to Fortress again because it's a pretty good Gliscor check. I'm gonna get another layer of spikes up. That makes a total of two as he goes for another U turn. Really, whatever. I, I know I'm gonna take it, so yeah, that's fine. He goes into his Tyranitar, probably trying to get the Sand up. Uh, Probably getting Stealth Rocks up, but it surprises me. He goes for a Fire Blast. I really did not see that one coming. I just went for Toxic to get damage on this thing, and I actually miss. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. I'm going to save my Fortress for Death Potter later on because I know my Groudon is a safe check to this thing. He goes for a Low Kick this. Eh, okay, damage. Now I'm going to go for a Fire Punch again. That Gliscor is going to take a huge amount from that. Oh my god. Two Fire Punches leave that shit at about 30% after two... I think two turns of poison heal. Whatever, that should have been dead. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, he protects to stall out some turns, and uh, now he's gonna switch. He's gonna do his RC is rock, and I'm gonna get a crit fire punch, I believe. Yes, I do get a crit. Don't get a burn though, which is kind of unfortunate. But hey, what are you gonna do? Um, I'm gonna go to Dialga to take the Will O Wisp, and he goes for it, and uh, he does get a burn, doesn't miss. And I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, get up a Stealth Rock or go for Roar. I think I set up my Stealth Rocks first because I know I can take whatever. And now he's probably going to go for a Calm Mind and I'm going to predict that and go for a Roar. But he actually switches to Tyranitar. I don't know why, but hey, whatever. That works to me. <laughs> I'm going to get some more damage on that thing and roar it out into his Gliscor. Um, he's probably faster than me, so I'm kind of fearing that the uh, Earthquake might be coming into my face. So I'm going to go to my Latias as he goes for Protect, trying to get some more uh, Poison Heal recovery. And I'm thinking he'll pre he'll predict that I'll predict his Protect and go for a Gamma, and so he's going to go for a Toxic. Therefore, I go straight for Dragon Pulse, take his shit out, and the Gliscor is down. First kill of the match, he's going to go to Excadrill. I'm going to go to my Arceus Ghost because I have a lot of hazards, and I really need to keep them. He goes for Shadow Claw, predicting that. Yeah, makes a good play, or just in general, striking Latias because he does not have the Mold Breaker ability. I'm gonna go for a flamethrower as he does get a very nice damage with the earthquake. Not enough to kill me after sandstorm, but it's still pretty decent damage. I take it out with a flamethrower, so no spin for him. He's gonna go for his Arceus Rock, and I'm going to switch out. I'm gonna go into my Dialga to take whatever because he really cannot do too much to me. He goes for a Judgment just to take out my Arceus, but I decided to save it for later because it's still at 1%. I can always recover up, so it might be useful. I'm gonna go for a Roar. Because that thing will just get out of there, maybe. I, I don't even know. Just Roar was a safe play, whatever. Using to his Gastro. Um, I'm gonna go for a Draco to gauge damage. It does alright damage. I think this is special defense, judging from that damage. He goes for an Earth Power. It does a very amount, very nice amount, actually. 
and I'm gonna go into my hoho to oh sorry my Groudon to get up the sand first the sun I said sand whatever because he'll probably go for a recover and now I'm pretty safe to go into my Dialga again as that far because I want to take a uh, an opportunity to get my ho in for free and set up a sub I see ice beam so he doesn't have a water type move even if he did it's in the sun so whatever I'm gonna go for a sub he's gonna attempt to go for a toxic substitute blocks it obviously and I'm gonna go for a sacred fire on the switch because I think he's gonna go into his Arceus rock but he has to go into Sarenitar to uh, get the send up and uh, fade the sun away so I don't get a burn with a sacred fire so I'm gonna need to go for an extra turn I'm gonna go for a brave bird take out this Tyranitar and next I believe he's gonna opt to go into his Arceus ghost to take me on because he has the uh, the judgment which is four times effective he does indeed go into it and I'm gonna go for a sacred fire trying to get a burn but again I'm not gonna get a burn I really don't know what's up with the sacred fire 50 percent but yeah no burn whatever I I'm cool with it now I, I definitely cannot stay in so I'm gonna switch to my fortress as death fodder he goes for a recover though which whatever uh, now what I'm gonna do is uh, just death fodder my fortress why not and now I'm gonna do uh, wow I'm gonna switch to ground on to get up the sand, double switch into Latias because I know I can take any hit. Actually, I was predicting the Will O Wisp first, so into Ho-Oh, and now I know he's not gonna go for a Will O Wisp, so I get a switch into my Latias. I didn't want to just be sure that I would get into a burn. He might go for a burn later, but I didn't want to get directly into a burn because that would cripple my Latias in the sort of way that I would be forced to go for a recovery in the first turn. I wanted to get a Calm Mind as soon as possible so that we might match up so I'm gonna go for a roost we're both at plus one but I do have the soul do so I kind of got an advantage there uh, I was gonna keep going for calm mind and I think I'll go for one more again and uh, we're both at plus two well actually I'm at plus three with a soul do whatever and uh, at this point he's gonna go for a judgment and I go for a psy shock I'm gonna win this battle because psy shock bypasses the special defense boost so yeah I'm really not that worried he's gonna go for a recover I'm gonna go for a roost and at this point, he really has no other choice but to let something else die because, yeah, Linus is just that boss. He goes into his Dialga. I go for a Psy Shock. I'm glad I did not go for a Roost there again because I would not probably take out this Dialga at plus three. Regardless, I'm going to go for a Dragon Pulse. And uh, that shit goes down. Also, someone rang a bell to my door. I don't know who that is, but you'll have to wait because I'm fucking recording. I'm gonna go for a Psy Shock, but he forfeits before that, so I get a win. Very nice indeed. I was actually pretty confident playing in this match. I think I played kind of well, and uh, that made up the difference in the battle. So I hope you all enjoyed this 4-0, bitch! Yes, I'll see you later. Peace.